Hi, I'm Gary Dawson, and I made this presentation to give you an overview of various types of 3D printing in use. 3D printing is known in the professional world as additive manufacturing. Wikipedia refers to additive manufacturing as various processes used to synthesize a three-dimensional object. In 3D printing, successive layers of material are formed under computer control to create an object. These objects can be of almost any shape or geometry and are produced from a 3D model or an other electronic data source. A 3D printer is a type of industrial robot. Futurologists such as Jeremy Rifkin believe that 3D printing signals the beginning of the third industrial revolution. Succeeding the production line assembly that dominated manufacturing starting in the late 19th century, using the power of the internet, it may be eventually possible to send a blueprint of any product to any place in the world to be replicated by a 3D printer with elemental inks capable of being combined into any material substance of any desired form. There are various additive manufacturing platforms types. FDM, Fused Deposition Modeling. DLP, Digital Light Processing. SLA, Stereolithography. Piezoelectric Inkjet Deposition. And SLM, or Selective Laser Melting. FDM, the maker movement worldwide, is largely fueled by FDM printers. You can think of this process as working similar to an ultra-sophisticated glue gun. A heated extruder head lays down layers that fuse with the prior layer in a building process. The filament may be one of several types, including, but probably not limited to, ABS, PLA, PET, and nylon. Some of these materials can include filler materials such as wood, carbon fiber, conductive materials, and steel. These simple but amazing machi machines have many uses, both industrial and hobby. They are inexpensive and relatively easy to operate, but have limitations in resolution. There will be a glossary at the end of this presentation for meanings to the acronyms used in this presentation. DLP is a very popular mode of additive manufacturing within the jewelry and dental industries because of its versatility, relatively high resolution, and cost factor. Also, some resins are castable using a variation of the lost wax casting process familiar to most jewelry and dental manufacturers. In DLP systems, a light engine is used to expose a light curing resin which is held in the machine in liquid form. The UV portion of the light spectrum solidifies a full layer of material at once onto a build table that is suspended into the liquid. With each successive layer, the build table moves up so that the next layer can be built upon the previous. An SLA printing process utilizes a laser that cures a layer at a time in a photoreactive resin similar to DLP printing. But rather than curing an entire layer in one brief exposure, the laser or lasers must trace a beam across the entire layer image, typically resulting in longer print times. Resolution suffers somewhat as the width of a typical laser beam spot used in this process is around 140 microns versus the pixel size of the DLP platform of around 30 microns. Piezoelectric deposition is a more complex system but is thought to produce higher resolutions than any other systems available today. Because they deposit both build and support materials onto a build table. Much like inkjet printing, more complex geometries can be printed without the support system needed in SLA and DLP printing. Superior resolution of these systems is facilitated by a planing mill that levels and smooths each layer after deposition. This method seems to provide resolution superior to all other systems and the output can be cast with no modifications to typical lost wax casting technique.
SLM printers print directly in metal, alleviating the necessity of the interim process of casting to get a metal part. This process does not yet produce extremely fine resolution, and parts produced in this manner may need downstream processing to achieve a precise surface or interior surface. In the SLM process, a laser beam is directed over the surface of a level bed of metal powder fusing the powder into a solid. When the layer is complete, the print bed moves down and the powder is re-leveled in the new position. In this way, layers are built one upon the other. I've provided here a glossary of terms used in additive manufacturing. You can preserve this by pausing the video here and doing a screen capture. I sincerely hope this short video has been useful to you in understanding the basics of different additive manufacturing solutions. You should understand that all of these technologies are evolving very rapidly. Though the processes may remain similar for at least a while, constant refinements are making each of these systems more useful in a wide variety of applications worldwide. Please don't hesitate to contact the author of this video if you have further questions.